hey, so strategy number one for uh, subtraction would be counting back. So we would start our number line at 25, and then we would count back 17 spaces, and we show our hops. So that way we can see where we need to land. So I would probably divide this up by 10 and 7 to subtract. So 25 minus 10 would be 15. So if I get back to 15, then I still have to take away 7. And uh, the students often do better when they make a 7, a 5, and a 2. So let's count back, and then um, it's a lot faster. So minus 5 minus 2, if I take away 5. And that gets me at 10. And if I take away 2, my answer will be 8. And um, you might wonder why we do this. Well, it is uh, because now if I check my work, okay, um, 7 plus 8 would be 15. Carry that 1. This is if parents are watching. And I would have 25, so I can check my answer and see that I'm right. The um, common problem that second graders often make, so if you are the second grader watching this, remember that you cannot take the 7 away from the 5. So if you just look at this, instead of thinking about where it should be on the number line, and that you put the answer 12, 17 is not 12 numbers away from 25 on a number line. It, it's not. You're going back. 17 spaces um, and you would land at 8. So if I take that same problem and I do our other strategy, which is finding the difference between, um, and the other way to call that in our um, in our lessons would be counting up strategy. So the counting back strategy is taking away and the counting up strategy would be finding the difference between, but we'd have to start with the lower number of 17, and then uh, we would find out how many spaces it is to get to 25. Now, what we talked about as the two different kinds of problems, let's say you have 25 uh, gumballs and uh, 17 fall out of the bag, how many do you have left? You have eight gumballs that have not rolled around in the dirt. But let's say one class of students has 25 and one class of students only has 17 students. Um, if you're comparing those two numbers, you're not actually taking any students away this classroom has 17 and then it stops and then we need to find out how many more does this class have than 17. So one thing we did the other day, we used candy canes and we talked about how many more candy canes would be. So I guess you could even use how many more students and you could draw students if you needed to, uh, to find the difference between 17 and 25. But the other way they show you is to ju do jumps up to 25. Um, so let's label this and we could do back one, two, three, four, five to 20. Oh, this is not evenly spaced at all. Um, but we can still work on it if we, if we label it correctly. So that would be plus three to get to 20 and then a plus five again terribly spaced, but we get the idea. Plus 3, plus 5, uh, so the difference between 17 and 25 is 8, which we would use my counting and not the unevenly spaced section to do that. So the difference between 17 and 20 is 3, and the difference between 20 and 25 is 5. And the neat thing that we talked about in class is that if you look, um, Either way, my answer is still 8. Uh, so the way to also do the uh, standard algorithm, which is 
what we call it would be 25 minus 17 and just if you're a student watching this make sure that you remember that I if I only have five I cannot take away seven and the biggest thing is that we can't switch the minuend and the subtrahend. In addition, it does not matter the order, but in subtraction, the order matters. So if I were doing this problem with the standard way, I should get the same answer. So I don't have enough in the ones place, so I'm gonna take one of the tens and I'm gonna move it over, uh, which would make this 10 plus five. And when you get bigger, if you're a second grader watching this, uh, you could just put a little one right there and you'll know that that's 15 ones. Okay, so I have 15 ones, but I'm going to take away seven ones. And I know that seven plus seven is 14, so I'm going to do doubles plus one, which would be eight. And that's some of the mental math that we have done. And 110, take away 110 is nothing. So I don't have any tens. So if you look, I can prove that 8, 8, and 8. No matter what I do, whether I count up, count back, or do the standard algorithm, I should always have 8. Um, another way to do that would be to draw um, 25 things and 17 things and see where the difference is. That would be similar to a number line, uh, but it would be using a uh, pictorial model and that would help as well. So whatever strategy you choose to do your subtraction, uh, those are the ones that we have covered in class.